one. The Jack Benny Program. With Jack's special guest, Carol Burnett. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our show. Now, usually, Right here in this spot, I do a monologue. You know, I tell jokes, see? But tonight, I have as my guest star uh, someone who is so expensive, I mean, so talented. <laughs> really, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean that. That I, I have, that I have to bring her out right away you know, because I want her to be all through the show here. And she, um, no, she's really one of the most dynamic and versatile comedians in show business, Miss Carol Burnett. three minutes too long. <laughs> Carol, I just want to tell you that I feel highly complimented oh. having you as a guest on my show. Thank you very much, Jack. And I don't know of anyone who has made such a rapid rise as a comedian in show business as you have. Oh, thank you, Jack. I, I really am very appreciative of the way my comedy has been accepted. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, now I feel it's time for a change. Oh, don't get me wrong, I enjoy getting the laughs, but I feel the need to express a more deep and creative urge within me. <laughs> so, uh, with, with your permission, I would like to uh, do a number I've worked out with your orchestra now, if that's all right. With oh, you. that's fine with me. Thank sure, you. certainly. Go right ahead. Thank you. Mr. Merrick, if you please. <laughs> What are you doing? There are women and children watching our show. Yeah, but this will keep the fathers watching, too. <laughs> well, wait, wait a minute, Carol. Now, look, now, control yourself, because there are some questions I want to ask you that I'm sure our audience, there's certain things they'd like to know about you. Like what? <laughs> well, like, for instance, what are your plans for the future? I'm going to do some spectaculars, and I hope to do a motion picture. And I'm also planning to go back to Las Vegas and work there. Oh, you are going back to Las Vegas. I don't know what hotel yet. You don't? Uh, well, I imagine with you now it'll be probably the best one on the Strip. Strip! <laughs> worried about your control, yeah. <laughs> or about yours either. <laughs> mine, mine I'm worried. <laughs> Let's stop all this fooling. Now, I know you have a lovely singing voice, and everybody knows. So how about singing a song for us now? I'd love to. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Carol Burnett will now sing the trolley song. My high starch collar and my high top shoes and my hair piled high up on my head. I went to lose a jolly hour on the trolley and lost my heart instead. With his light brown derby and his bright green tie, he was quite the handsomest of men. I started to yen, so I counted to ten, then I counted to ten again. Clang, 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 went the 
the trolley. Ding, ding, ding with the bell. Zing, zing, zing with my heartstrings. For the moment I saw him, I fell. Chug, chug, chug went the motor. Bump, bump, bump with the brake. Bump, bump, bump with my heartstrings. When he smiled, I could feel the car shake. He tipped his hat and took a seat. He said he hoped he hadn't stepped upon my feet. He asked my name. I held my breath. I couldn't speak because he scared me half to death. Buzz, buzz, buzz went the buzzer. Plop, plop, plop went the wheel. Stop, stop, stop went my heartstrings. As he started to leave, I took hold of his sleeve with my hand. And as if it were planned, he stayed on with me. And it was grand just to stand with his hand holding mine to the end of the line. He tipped his hat and took a seat. He said he hoped he hadn't stepped upon my feet. He asked my name. I held my breath. I couldn't speak because he scared me half to death. Buzz, buzz, buzz went the buzzer. Plop, plop, plop went the wheel. Stop, stop, stop went my heartstrings. As he started to leave, I took hold of his sleeve with my hand. Just, just wonderful. Thank you really. very much, Jim. Now, I want to ask you something else now, and I sh I'm sure our viewers would like to know about this, too. Now, you've worked on the uh, Gary Moore show for quite a long while, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Well, tell me, um, what's the lowdown on this Gary Moore guy? <laughs> what do you mean, Jack? Well, I, I know he looks like such a nice fella, you know, on the surface, but, uh... <laughs> what is he really like underneath? Well, Jack, I worked with Gary for a long time, and I got to know him pretty well, mm -hmm. and, uh, I can honestly say he's the nicest person I've ever met in my entire life. Oh. He is kind and sweet and considerate. Oh. <laughs> and there's no one who's more loyal to his people than he is. He's thoughtful, helpful, lovely. Oh, and what an ad liver. <laughs> I tell you, Carol. he's got the greatest sense of humor. All right, all right. <laughs> Jack, you asked me. I know, but if you can't say something bad about a person, be quiet. <laughs> But I'm only kidding. Listen, uh, Gary Moore is a very good friend of mine. He really is. He is short, though, you'll admit that. <laughs> I think he is. But you know, one thing... Oh, Jack, Jack. One thing about Gary... Oh, uh, Jack, my son Harlow would like very much to meet Miss Burnett. Hello, Mr. Benny. Hello. <laughs> Carol, this is my son, Harlow. Charmed. <laughs> Don, I'm sure you didn't bring this knight of the round stomach here <laughs> just for this. Now, you have some ulterior motive. What is it? Well, Jack, you see, Harlow's been going to a new elocution school at great expense to me, and he's been doing so well that I want him to do the commercial tonight. Oh. I see. I thought so. You, you've been going to an elocution school? How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? Don, 
Unfortunately, we're not selling brown cows. <laughs> so, so take your bull and get out of here. But Jack, look at down, will you please go? Bull for you. Jack, you're the most inconsiderate person I've ever known. Come on, son. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but they should be forced to wear license plates. <laughs> now, Carol, let's see, there was one more thing I wanted to ask you. Oh, yes. Would you like to have dinner with me tonight? Oh, Jack, I'd love to, but I'm sorry I'm busy. I wish you'd asked me last night. I didn't have a thing to do, so I just sat in my hotel room and watched television. You did, huh? I saw the Late Late Show. Oh, the Tarzan Show? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I wasn't it wonderful? Oh, I watched did you it. See it. I always oh, watch it. You know, when I watch, I, I'm really embarrassed to say this, but I do the silliest thing when I watch pictures. Like I, for what, for instance? Well, I always imagine myself to be the beautiful leading lady. It's a funny thing. Now, everybody does that. I do that too. You know, when I watch. You imagine yourself to be the beautiful leading lady. <laughs> Only if she gets laughs. <laughs> But I, no, but I, 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 I picture myself as the leading man. But I thought that Tarzan picture was just oh, great, didn't you? it was. Yeah, you remember that first scene when the f safari was just breaking camp? As soon as we get the rest of these things on the jeep, we may as well get started. It'll be so good getting back to London again. Come on, Jane, hurry up. Mother, I'm not going back to London. What? That's right. I've decided to stay here. I've fallen in love. Here? In the jungle? Yes. I met the most wonderful... Oh, gracious, what's that? That's him, the man I love, Tarzan. <laughs> Jane, you can't be serious. You're, you're staying here in the jungle with this, this brute? I've made up my mind. I won't listen to this nonsense. You're coming back to London with us. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going back to London. As I sat there watching the television set, I imagined that I was the beautiful, vivacious Jane who was determined to stay in the jungle with her newfound love. Jane, we're waiting. <laughs> waiting enough. I'm staying right here in the jungle with him. <laughs> Jane, what can you two find in common? Everything. We have fun together, don't we, sweetheart? We play games. Come on, let's show Daddy the game we play. Come on, this, 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 here we go. Jane, you understand? You are not. I am too. No, you're not. I am too. I was hoping she would win the argument. Because as I sat there watching my television set, I imagined that I was Tarzan. But Jane, how can you stay here in the jungle with this big, uneducated beast? Can't even speak. Oh, Father, when I first met him, he was nothing but a gorgeous hunk of ignorance. <laughs> but I've been teaching him. Sweetheart, show Father what I've taught you. Me, Jane. You, Tarzan. No, no, darling. Uh, me, Jane. You, Tarzan. Understand? Understand. Oh, you can't be in love with this. Oh, but, Father, I am. All my life, I've wanted a man who could crush me in his arms. Look at him, he's so strong. This morning, he tore a crocodile in half. Long ways. <laughs> Look at those muscles. Well, all right, daughter, you've made your decision. But remember that this is purely a physical attraction. The years will change all this. I don't care, I'm staying. We might as well go. Goodbye, Jane. 
Goodbye. Oh, dear. Me, Jane. You, Tarzan. Jane, are you sure you want to do this thing? Of course I am, Mother. I'm staying here in the jungle with Tarzan of the Apes. <laughs> I'll be a monkey's uncle. You very well may. <laughs> right when he said it was just a physical attraction. <laughs> Why has he changed? <laughs> Tarzan. <laughs> if I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. Me, Jane. You, Tarzan. <laughs> oh. All right. What's for dinner? Guess. Elephants, trunks, stuffed with alligators, gizzards? <laughs> Elephants, trunks, stuffed with alligator gizzards? You think every day Sunday? <laughs> Guess again. Hippopotamus tripe fried in gazelle fat? <laughs> Two souffle. All right, all right. Sit down at the table. <laughs> Dane, what's the matter with us? We don't have fun no more. We don't... 
enjoy being together no more. We don't play anymore. We don't play games. We don't do nothing. All right, all right. You want to play, we'll play. Yeah. Hey, I forgot to tell you, I invite three friends. Here they come now. <laughs> Music for friends. tradition. And Tarzan not alone. Tarzan have son. Come out, son of Tarzan. <laughs> Daddy, where is mommy going? Mommy is going on a nice trip. He see you soon. <laughs> 